Hey guys, welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create this. There are lots of guys who wants me to create something like this. All right, let's create a composition with the same settings as usual. Name it whatever you want. Also change the duration to 10 seconds. Let's bring some files for this project. Don't worry, you can get all files from the download link. First of all, let's bring the background into the timeline, and adjust its scale and position. Now bring the character animation to our timeline. And adjust it like this. By the way, this character animation is not done by me. Thanks to Peter Rusev, who gave me the permission to use this and, to create some cool contents like this. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for curves. Adjust the curve something like this. Search for drop shadow effect, and apply it on the layer. Now adjust the shadow something like this. Alright, now add this clip into your timeline. Then rotate it like this. And adjust the scale a little bit. Now we just need to reveal the character animation after this explosion. First of all, drag this layer a little bit, so it starts after few frame. Now open opacity, and add two simple keyframes to reveal this character. Nice, this looks good to me. I missed one clip. Actually this is for extra detailing. If you want you can skip it. It is simple, you just need to place it in the right spot. Like this. So the explosion looked much better. Great, we are done with the character animation here. Let's add some text into our project. Adjust its scale and position like this. Or you can use your own text. It's all up to you. Align it to the middle. Now click on this animate button, and select position. Then change the position something like this. Click on this add button, and add opacity. Then set the opacity value 0. Open range selector 1. 
Now if we increase the start value, we can see the animation. Let's set a keyframe on start, then go forward to few frames, and change the start value to 100. Nice, open advance option, and change both these value to 100. Also turn on the randomize order. Again click on this animate button, and add RGB fill color. Change the color you want. Also, turn on the randomize order. Now change the start value something like this. Here, I'm going to add an expression to the offset. For doing this, hold Alt key, then click on this stopwatch icon. Now type, wiggle 2 comma 50. By doing this, alphabets will change the color randomly. Alright, let's type another text. And place it like this. Make sure to change the paragraph to the left. Now click on this animate button, and select tracking. Increase the tracking amount to a high value. Then add opacity property here. And set the opacity value 0. Now add a keyframe on start, then go forward to few frames, and change the value to 100. Great. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate this layer. Place this text here. Also change the text according to your need. Let's bring the electric effect clip to our timeline. Now adjust the position and scale a little bit. Also place this after a few seconds in the timeline. So it matches with the text, like this. Also change this mode to hard light. You can copy this layer, and place it over time after time. Like this. And now it is ready for use. Let's wrap it up for today, see you guys in the next video. Till then, be creative, and as I say, always try to think outside the box.